That's life. Saturdays on CBS. It's all here. But, officer, I wouldn't have to call again and again if you were more forthcoming. Yeah. Well, just remember, my my taxes pay your salary. Hey, Well, up? finally. Who's that? Who'd you hang up nobody, with? Nobody. No, I'm just... <laughs> One of those warrior officers down at the station, and all he would tell me is that you had a private meeting with Jean Valjean, your nemesis, Munson, mm -hmm. and then he released you? What's going on? What's going on? You're driving me crazy. Worry. Believe me, there's nothing to worry about now at all. Don't you try to bamboozle me. I, come on, give me the gory facts. I want them. But you haven't even heard the, 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 the good part of this whole thing yet. Good part? Darling, you're vandalizing a cemetery in Skokie. What's good yeah, about that? Grandson. Can I have some of this food? Brian, Brian, explain yourself to me immediately. Okay, just don't freak out, all right? We broke into a tomb, but the grave was empty. So that's why you had all that equipment. Yes. Darling, what possesses you to do the things that you do? Well, guess who was supposed to be buried in there? Anybody I know? Gabriel Frank. That's the guy that got you in trouble with the... the yeah, and the grave marker had his name on it, but he wasn't in it. He's not dead. But he's gonna wish he was as soon as I get a hold of him. Piece of cake. You like how I bypassed that alarm? Dear old Walsh, you must have bought it back in the 90s. Someone should tell her that with technology, you really gotta keep up. Look at this place. Oh, I feel like Alice in Wonderland. What are you waiting for, Ruby girl? Keep, bro, keep it down. How do we know the butler won't be back, huh? When he's working, he wears that suit. Tonight, he had his civvies on, he had a gift bottle under his arm, and he drove away whistling. I imagine he's got a hot date. Got the place to ourselves, don't you worry. Let me hold the key. Why? Because it belongs to your boyfriend. How smart was I finding it in his little bungalow? Brian's not my boyfriend, all right? Give me the key. You know you always forget things. All right, let's keep it warm for you. Check this out. It's like Martha Stewart on speed. I think it's beautiful. So beautiful, I don't know where to start. <laughs> Look at this. Some people really do have more money than taste, don't they? Now, I'm gonna see just how much more money. Ruby, look alive. Go scout the rest of the castle out while yours truly finds out how Queen Lucinda rules her domain. Not that it's gonna be her domain for much longer. I work here. I haven't seen you since yesterday, and you just waltz in here, and you tell me you want a divorce? I know, it's lousy timing. Lousy? You couldn't have waited until I got home. You couldn't have uh, taken me out for a little dinner and broken it to me gently. This isn't like you. Well, it is now. You mean now that Montgomery's got you so brainwashed, I don't he even recognize you. He has nothing to do you. with this. That's a lie. You're trying to protect him. Well, somebody's got to. You're making his life a living hell. Hell is where he belongs, instead of some fancy suite taking advantage of everybody and everything. No one is taking advantage of me. I have told you a hundred times. What's going on with us has nothing to do with Craig. That's not true, Barbara. We were happy. We were happy before he came here. He is doing this deliberately. Can't you see that? He is doing nothing to us. This is my decision. It's over. Our marriage is over. And you just don't even see it, Hal. Barbara, don't walk out on me, please. I know that you're sick and tired of listening to me rave about Montgomery, but you are wrong about it. And it could cost you your life. Hey, 
Hey. Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> you can have them for nothing. Well, what happened here? Lily was here. Oh, did, did you two have a fight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we both lost. What do you mean? It's over. Katie, that's what it means. It's all over for us. You and Lily broke up? Oh, Simon, I never dreamed that you would do it. <laughs> do what? Stand up to her like this. No, I know it was hard for you to do, but you did the right thing in the end. I promise you won't regret it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, what? I didn't break up with her. She broke up with me. Okay? That's what happened. You know, she finally decided that she doesn't want me in her life. I'm sorry I came over here without calling first, but I just had to come. Not now, Rose, okay? I, whatever it is, it's just gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I ran into that toxic Barbie doll, Katie Peretti at Fashions. What an earful she gave me. Ugh, gag me. Please, please, I have a massive headache. Oh, you got a headache, all right. Katie's pregnant? Ugh, please, I smell a tiny little rat. What a liar. Apparently she isn't. Pregnant? Lying. No, she's lying. She has to be. Nobody would gloat like that unless they were lying, and they want to twist the knife in just a little bit. You should have seen her standing in that gigantic maternity dress. Oh, please, pathetic. Who is she kidding? I don't want to talk about this, okay? It's nothing personal, I, I promise. But I just want to be alone, and I don't want anybody to see me like this. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gonna leave you here alone. No. What kind of sister would I be, leaving you here crying your eyes out over some bimbo who came up with a lie so old they got it in the Bible? Simon loves you. So what, he had a one-night stand with Katie. How could she be pregnant? Oh, no. Yes. He was drunk. He threw away the condom. Oh! Paul, oh, this stupid pea brain. What is he thinking with? Oh. Right. It doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't matter. All hands on deck. You've got to fight for your man. You and Simon. You don't have to do the right thing. Katie doesn't deserve that. You've got it all wrong. Whether or not Katie is pregnant or not, it doesn't much matter anymore. Oh, yeah, it does. It's not about Katie. It's about me. About my responsibilities. My choices. What I've done. What are you saying? I came to the realization that it would never work. Too many people would be hurt. So I went over to Simon and I forced myself to say the words. It's over. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh, that means you're gonna want Holden again. Looking for UFOs? <laughs> no, I just uh, checking out the Big Dipper. Night is so clear. You're supposed to be looking for the bad guys. Yeah, well, I haven't seen any. No ETs either. <laughs> How's Flash dance? Crabby. I'm cooped up in here all day. So have you. How about I take over for a while? That is a good idea. I need to get my kids home. They're up baking cupcakes with Emma for the school fair. Save me a couple, okay? I like the chocolate. Yeah, me too. Okay. Uh, hold on, wait a second. Mind if I give you some advice? No, go ahead. When you drop your kids off tonight, stick around for a little while. Help your wife put away those cupcakes or, or, or whatever. I really don't think that she needs my help with anything. You never know. Especially if you don't take the time to find out. You snooze, you lose, Capiche. You got two, two gorgeous hunks willing to go to the mat for you, and you're telling me you don't want either one of them? This is not about making a choice between Holden or Simon. Then what is it about them? You've been without a man all this time. How can you even ask me that? Well, I haven't completely given up hope yet, you know? I have some dreams. Someday I'd like to get married and have a family like yours. And a husband like mine. Your husband. Exactly. I mean, only if you don't want him anymore. 
Now I need to find out more about myself. Who I am alone. Alone. Before I can even think about being with someone. So what are you, you talking about? Finding yourself? Yeah, exactly. You know, you're already the love of Holden Snyder's life. Now you're gonna go off and make yourself perfect? What kind of chance do I have? Ask Holden. No, I'm asking you. Are you gonna give me a straight answer or what? Oh. What's the matter, honey? Oh, heartburn. I know just what you need. New Alka-Seltzer Heartburn Relief. Faster than Pepsi or the leading prescription. New Alka-Seltzer Heartburn Relief. This Thursday through Saturday, when you use your Sears card, you'll get 10% off almost everything in the store, even sale prices. Use the card, save 10%. Three days only, so hurry into Sears. Got your Pop-Tarts? Yeah, got it. Got my toaster strudel? Of course. When are you going to get your own toaster strudel? Pillsbury toaster strudel. Like Pop-Tarts, only better. Warm, flaky pastry, juicy fruit filling, and do-it-yourself icing. So, what do you do with all those Pop-Tarts? Something better just popped up in your grocer's freezer. <laughs> Pillsbury toaster strudel. It's come to our attention that thousands in your city have switched to GEICO Auto Insurance. How do you explain this fascinating phenomenon? One theory, there must be something in the water. So, we're here at your local reservoir to see. What's your conclusion? I think people just want to save money. <laughs> Should the water be red like that? GEICO Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. For all those who have difficulty bathing, and for all those who care for them, take comfort. Take comfort, take comfort, there's comfort bath, take comfort. Comfort bath. Thick as a washcloth, disposable comfort bath can be microwaved for a warm, soothing bath. Comfort bath leaves skin soft and smooth. There's comfort bath, take comfort. Look for comfort bath at your drugstore. His size has less calcium in his bones than larger dogs, so Zeke gets Mighty Dog. It's rich in calcium for strong bones. It'll make your dog a Mighty Dog. From Friskies. Crystal survived a serial killer. I saw what he did to Katie. Now she holds his life in her hands. An all-new 48 Hours Tonight. While you're watching As the World Turns, we're watching The World. CBS News. We've had Montgomery under surveillance for months. Turns out he was trying to sell microchips, which were stolen from the Department of Defense. Turns out the microchips were fake, so the deal fell through, and so did our case. So, where'd you get this information? No, I can't tell you that. Was that from a reliable source? Ask Jack. He'll back me up. Just yesterday, we got another tip. Oh, from the same... Unidentified snitch. You know that I cannot reveal my sources. It turns out Montgomery was involved with a shady businessman in Hong Kong. It turns out that this businessman stole Craig's money and invested in some valuable stolen property. Very, very valuable stolen property, which it turns out is right here in Oakland. And as soon as Montgomery finds out about it, he's going to move on it, but he better hope. The original owners don't catch up with him because when they do, Barbara, you don't want to be anywhere near Craig Montgomery. What is this valuable property, Hal? You don't want to know. It's too dangerous. Oh, come on, Hal. Tell me the truth now. This, this informant with the misinformation, that would be Carly Tenney. What difference does it make if the information is true? That's a pretty big if. 
Why don't you believe me, Barbara? Because for the last six months you've been foaming at the mouth whenever Bryant or Craig Montgomery's name has been brought up, and I can't believe that this, that this is about anything else except getting revenge at any cost. Evidence has been piling up for months. It's right in front of your face. Why can't you see it? Evidence? You're blind. Enough evidence to make an arrest? I don't think so. Otherwise, you would have done that. You've been saying the same thing for months. But I'll tell you something. Wanting to find dirt and finding dirt are two different things. And any sane man would have given up by now. Well, you think what you want. But one of these days, I am going to hang Montgomery out to dry. Okay, fine. But do you have any proof, Al? Any proof? I didn't think so. He's just like any other sleaze bag, desperate enough to do anything to keep himself afloat. And I am going to bring him down if it is the last thing I do. I'm sorry, Hal. But the only desperate man I see is you. I mean, stop it! Let me see your hand. I think you cut it's your... It's nothing. Back. Forget about it. It doesn't even let hurt. Me, please, please, let me help. I feel bad for you and for... and for my part in this. It's not... It's not your fault, all right? Trust me, Lily made that 100% clear, all right? She doesn't want me, okay? It's all too difficult for her. And she just threw this at you yep. with no warning? Yep, the worst surprise of my life. Well, I'm not surprised. Lily is so used to being spoon-fed. She's so used to instant gratification. When she doesn't get it, she just moves on to the next thing. Listen, I know you're only trying to help now, but I really don't want to talk about Lily. Well, you have to talk to someone, and I care about you, even if Lily doesn't. I am here for you. Please don't shut me out. There is nothing left to say, Katie. It's over. It's finished. I know that you're hurting right now, but maybe she did you a favor in the end. I mean, look at how long she's just kept you dangling. At least now you're off the hook. You think so? That woman is going to be stuck in my system forever. I meant the INS. I meant that now she's out of your life and we're still married, so you don't have to worry about being deported anymore. Uh, whatever, anyone. whatever. All right, let them, let them deport me, you know, because I couldn't care less. But I will always take care of you and the baby, all right? Oh, Simon, you're the best. Oh, wake up! All right? I was going to bail on you in this sham marriage. Yeah, that's right. I'd be gone already if, if, if Lily just gave me the word. We had been making plans for weeks to go to Canada. Lily would not leave her children, Simon. Bingo. That's exactly right. She was actually going to do that? She was going to commute back and forth. At least that's what she said before she got cold feet. No, I should have known. I should have realized that she didn't mean it. I just wanted to believe it so much. Now, what I really wanted was a real home. Now, where I could be myself, just tell the truth. And lying 24-7 is too much even for me. Well, you never lied to me. <laughs> really? Well, except for that stupid bracelet thing, but I totally knew you were lying, and I saw right through you. You've been so good to me, and I feel like I've hurt you. This is not... Your fault. Maybe Lily will change her mind. <laughs> really? No. No, that is it. That's it. The only woman I've ever really loved and she's gone for good. Well, Lily doesn't deserve you. You have so much to give and you have your whole life ahead of you. I bought you a little present. You know what, I'll, um, I'll give it to you later. Why don't you come inside? You have the door up. It's freezing in here. I can make you a dinner, a nice dinner. I got that homemade pasta. Can you stop? Just stop trying to make it better, all right? Just do yourself a favor and get away from me. So tell me, why would anyone want to, anyone want to be alone when they could be with Holden? I don't want to fight with you. I'm not trying to start anything. This time, I swear. I'm just trying to understand. What's not to understand? I need some time to be by myself. It'll be good for me and for my children. Be good for you? Yo, Miss Garbo, I know how this works, okay? I mean, it's like on the cover of Oprah's magazine, being contented without a man. It sounds nice on paper, but for reality, it stinks. I'm not you, 
Rose. We may be twin sisters, but we are not clones, and we have lived very, very different lives. Right. Right. You're the one rattling around in a king-size bed, wondering whatever happened to the guy with the king-size heart they used to share it with. You really think making pottery at the Y is going to answer all your questions? You do make a lot of assumptions. No, I'm not. Especially knowing the fact that you're going to keep crossing paths with that kingly guy because he's the father of your kids. And that it's not going to help that the big Lou and Emma be standing on the sidelines cheering, wondering when the king and the queen are finally going to kiss and make up. How do you know what I'm going to do? I may surprise everybody, including yourself. I hope so. Well, you may not know what you want to do, but I... I got plans. You don't want to fight for Simon? You want to bow out like the noble woman we both know you're not? Fine. Hopefully you'll figure it out before it's too late, but in the meantime, while you're finding your inner peace, I'm going after Holden. Full throttle. I'm going to fight as long as I can. If that's not enough, at least I know I put my heart into it. I'm not giving up. Mm -mm. Not without a fight. So there it is. That's where I stand. My doctor says I'm healthier than he is. I swim every day. If you suffer from arthritis pain, speak to your doctor. The lake is good for your soul. Tylenol Arthritis Pain Extended Relief. As effective as the most prescribed arthritis pain medicine, but much gentler to your stomach. When I swim, I'm free. Tylenol Arthritis Pain. And to help promote healthy joints, try a Flexa, a glucosamine supplement. Want another way to look at Colgate Total? New Colgate Total Plus Whitening. The same 12-hour protection as Colgate Total. Only whiter. Breakfast! Oh, wow. Are these, uh... Pancakes. Mm -hmm. This looks great. We don't have the stuff to make pancakes. From heartburn to diarrhea. Pepto-Bismol. Because you never know. Test 11. Introduction of the new Swiffer wet variant. The cleaning cloth attached to a regular Swiffer. Yes. Subject is a 50-year-old male. He responds to the dirt stimulus. We've got a live one. No dirt and cloth. And disposal triumph. New Swiffer wet. Changing cleaning behavior. You wouldn't dream of doing laundry without this. Soon, you won't dream of doing it without this. Introducing Tide Kick, the first pre-treater and detergent system. Measure, treat, toss. It's a nightmare for stains, and that's a dream come true. New Tide Kick. Hey, wanna give dinner a different feel? Let them have some fun at the meal. One peel, two peel, three peel, four. So much fun to come back for more. Flaky, layered, hungry jack biscuits. My heart to yours. From Pillsbury. I knew Gabriel Frank wasn't wasn't dead. There was nothing in that so-called grave of his but a skull, Lucinda. Oh, only a skull. Yeah, a plastic skull with a note shoved inside of his nose saying, "Gone fishing." Gone fishing. This guy Gabriel Frank has a sick, twisted sense of humor. But I'll tell you something. I am going to get the last laugh after I track him down. I'm glad you haven't lost your sense of humor or your command of the English language as you add to your rap sheets. I'm not getting locked up. I, I, th I thought you knew about this. Hal took care of everything. No, I didn't know that. I... Oh, dear. Why does that send a chill down my spine? He was actually really cool about everything. I told him it was my fault and that I would take responsibility for everything, and it was like magic. He told me he was going to call the Skokie police and tell them it was just a bunch of kids playing a prank. Uh-huh. But... I did tell him that I would pay for the damages. Oh, and how are you going to pay for them? I'll pay you back. 
Look, even if my dad spent the last dime on my trust fund, I, I, I promise I will pay you back. Don't you worry about your father and the trust fund. I'm taking care of that. In fact, I've already set things in motion. What you have to work on is staying out of trouble with the law. And Hal wanted me to give you a message. If you're ready to talk, he's ready to listen. Oh. Okay. Things are falling into place. Hmm. Is that why he was suddenly so eager to help me out? Because of the deal you made with him to put my dad away? Oh, Donnie, it wasn't exactly a deal. It really wasn't. Donnie, give me your hand. You know, your father, what he's doing is... It's very wrong. It's wrong. Now, if you still got any love for the old man, you won't let him get away with it. Because it's not good for him and it's not good for you. I mean, stealing from your own kid, there are... There are seats, special seats in hell for that kind of a dad. And Craig's got his name on one of them. Hey. I don't want it. All right, uh, maybe you'll want it a little bit later. Stop that, okay? You're not my maid. Well, what am I supposed to do? I just can't watch you in all this pain and do nothing. There is nothing you can do. I know you loved her, but if, if this is what love does to you, then I don't see the point. That's because you've never been in love before. How do you know? I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to hurt you. I know. I know that your heart is broken and you feel like it's not going to get better but you forget about her please don't do that okay i know you're only trying to be nice but i can't i can't go there katie i wish i could just drown myself in you but that's not going to help either one of us would you just stop drinking please it's not going to make you feel better okay, what difference does it make just stop it okay you're going to pass out that's what i'm hoping i don't want to feel I've lost the only woman that mattered. She was everything to me, and now I have nothing. Okay? Nothing. This is because of the baby, isn't it? Simon, I never thought that it would hurt you this much. I honestly didn't. I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Mmm, what's that wonderful smell? Cupcakes. Grandma helped us bake them for the fair. Really? Baked too? Huh. Did you guys have time to make angels in the snow? She only likes to do with you. Oh, really? Aunt Rose, sing the candy song. Luke loves to sing this, uh, the Sicilian counting song about chocolate. I... Oh, maybe he'll sing it for me sometime. First, you gotta bribe him. Oh! You know, I wish we had time for songs right now, but uh, it's time for baths. And Stephanie's upstairs waiting for you. I'll come up very soon and tuck you in, all right? And read the story? You better believe it. Good night, buddy. Okay. Good night. Good night. Come on. Go, sweetie. Sweetie. Get this. Come on. Okay. Hi, guys. Well, Rose, thanks for stopping by. I don't want to keep you. Oh, no, 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 I got the whole evening free. So is, uh, how's our favorite stallion? Well, he was, uh, a little skittish today, but, uh, other than that, pretty quiet day. Oh, that horse needs to get out, though, you know? That kind of horse needs to work the cylinders. Huh, Joel, take care of him. Joel, my pop, isn't he the best? <laughs> yes, he picked up a lot of stuff hanging out at those racetracks. But you, you've got horse sets, too. It's different. You two are, like, uh, very complimentary. Complimentary? I got a very special gift recently. A dictionary. Ah, uh, Philly, you seem a little edgy. I wish I could explain. She's had a rough day, you know. She's tired. I think she just needs the two of us just to get out of, you know, get out of her hair. It's a long day. Holden, would you mind sticking around for a moment? I'd like to speak to you privately. Sure. Why don't you wait for me, Rose? We'll head back to the farm together and check on Joe. All right. I'll just, uh, I'll just put these cupcakes in the fridge.
My dry, itchy skin would flare up. I just wanted to hide. Cordaid helps heal and protect dry, itchy skin fast with maximum strength medicine and special moisturizers. My skin was healed. First aid, fast aid, Cordaid. Is your asthma really under control? Yes, but I still get short of breath. And you wake up at night wheezing and coughing. <gasps> I just use my fast-acting inhaler. But you use it almost every day. Is that what you call control? Ask your doctor if Flovent is right for you. Prescription Flovent twice a day helps control the inflammation that can cause everyday asthma symptoms. Even helps improve lung function. Flovent won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden attacks. People switching from an oral steroid like prednisone to Flovent, an inhaled steroid, need to be especially careful. While adjusting to the switch, your body is not as able to heal after surgery, infection, or serious injury. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve. Now this is asthma control. Are you sure you followed the recipe? How old is this? Was there a recipe? Too much wine with dinner? Serve up Roni, pasta Roni, fettuccine Alfredo, and you'll hear... More, please! Roni, leave the wine behind. Oops! It's a law of physics. The only man on the plane with a cold will sit next to you. <laughs> Thank goodness for Kleenex tissues. Kleenex cold care has three germ-blocking layers to help keep germs where they belong. Something mysterious. Something scandalous. Something delicious is happening across America. I loved it. Fabulous. Sensual. Extremely sexy. You gotta see this movie. Experience the one comedy that nobody can get enough of. It cracked me up the whole way through. It's an aphrodisiac. I'm taking my boyfriend, yeah. for sure. Chocolate. I thought it was one of the best movies of the year, and I've seen everything. Rated PG-13. Now playing. What's cooking, fellas? Hi, oh, Ernie. Uh, just putting big chips in my Chips Deluxe cookie. Oh, that's nothing. I'm putting big chips and milk chocolate chunks in my Chocolate Lover's Chips Deluxe. Yeah, well, I'm adding walnut pieces to mine. Peanut butter cups. Ha! Put that in your cookie and crumble it. Wow. Chips Deluxe chocolate chip cookies in seven deluxe varieties. Walnuts. Open up. Sometimes too many cooks mm. is a good thing. Wild dingoes, intense heat, heart-stopping excitement, David Letterman surviving the Late Show, and tonight, don't miss Rod Stewart and Regis Philbin. Friday, one woman is helping the most wanted man in America by keeping tabs on the man who killed his wife. But her next tip could be a trap. Kimball took the bait. All new fugitive. Then Nash's ex is back with a vengeance. Now you've got my attention. But this time she won't get out clean. How about you get in? I would, but I might drown it. An all new Nash, CBS Friday. Tonight at 5 on CBS 2 News. Our man Mike takes on Hollywood on the set of The Young and the Restless. Then at 6 o'clock, we'll take you to the opening of Disney's new California Adventure theme park. Tonight at 5 and 6 on CBS 2 News, the station of the people. Announcing the largest home furnishing sale of the year, the Pacific Design Center's annual sample sale. This Saturday and Sunday, February 10th and 11th. Don't miss this opportunity to buy where the professionals shop at a fraction of the cost. The finest in home furnishings, sofas, dining sets, exotic rugs from around the world. The Pacific Design Center's annual sample sale, two days only, this Saturday and Sunday. Admission is $3, 8687 Melrose Avenue at San Vicente in West Hollywood. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. Does your internet move you? Get AT&T high-speed cable internet service and download streaming videos in seconds. Nothing brings the web to life like AT&T Roadrunner. Go cable, go faster. Call now for free basic installation of high-speed cable internet service. New information on Tom and Nicole's split and new celebrity millionaire. Next DT. The survival phenomenon continues tonight on CBS at 8, 7 central. I feel terrible. I didn't think it would happen this fast. I mean, I knew eventually that you and Lily would grow apart because of the baby, but I it really wasn't, didn't... It, it wasn't because of the baby. What, does she think I'm lying? 
Is that why she did this to you? Just so you would get mad and leave? No. No, I told her about the doctor. She knows you're definitely pregnant. She just didn't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Yeah. She didn't want to destroy our happy little family. Yeah, well, she already did that to her own. That's why she didn't want to run away with me. She says she already hurt too many people. Well, Holden's not going to take her back. No, 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 no. She's not going back to him. She said that? Yeah, in the end, she didn't want either one of us. So it did have nothing to do with your pregnancy. You mean that even if I wasn't pregnant, she still would have left you? That, no, she's crazy or lying. What do you mean? Maybe she just... Maybe she never really loved you. Maybe she just needed some drama in her boring, pathetic little no, life. No, no, that is not true. Well, I told her the same thing, but it's only because I wanted to hurt her. You know? Hurt her the way that she hurt me. I hate her for hurting you. Why would no, she... Shut up, up, shut up! do this? You do not know what you're talking about, all right? No, I'm getting out of here. Something happened with Simon? Diane ask him after him again? Do we have to talk about him? Why don't you just tell me what's going on with you? Oh, nothing. It's just... I just wanted to let you know that I, I, I noticed how close you and Rose are getting. And that, I think that's... I think it's great. Great? Is that what you really think? Well, I mean, I know that Rose and I will, will never be cut from the same cloth, even though we're twin sisters. But I'm beginning to see that she's really... She, she's very decent. Yeah, well, you guys are a lot alike. I mean... You have that in common. Yes, we have a lot in common, don't we? And the kids, she's great with them, and she's so, so helpful to you. To me? Well, yeah, I mean, like, it's about the, uh, this flash dance situation. I don't know what's going on, but that Rose, I know she won't let you down. She's very loyal, and she's, she's persistent, and... Relentless, actually. You don't seem to mind. I have a new perspective on Rose. She's been very good to me. See that? I'm glad. Right. You know what? I'm tired. I really am. Rose is right. I'm tired. And Luke is probably waiting upstairs with a stack of books for me. Yeah, her little bookworm. Good night. Lily, look, um, if there's something on your mind, why don't you just share it with me? Tell, tell me what it is. It's nothing that can't keep. Thought you were making yourself useful. Yeah. So, so, uh, everything cool with Lily? So she told you uh, her, her latest news flash? She certainly did. I was floored. I'll bet. She likes you. She really likes you. Hmm. Me and Sally Field. Oh, no. First it's Bryant. You hated him the minute you laid eyes on him. Then it's Craig. You demonized him for trying to get his son out of jail, which any parent would try to do. The more you push hell, the more you divide our family. What do you want me to do, Barbara? Just tell me. I can't seem to do anything right now. I want you to stop! You have already been warned by the commissioner. If you continue to harass Craig, you will lose your job. Well, that, that, that was Craig's doing, that fiasco at the therapist's office. You know? What? What? He set me up. He knew. He knew about that meeting with Dr. Michaels, didn't he? Tell me. Uh, yeah, yes, I guess. Yeah, then he had one of his cronies, probably the same one that had the charges against Brian Trump, strong-arm the commissioner into calling an impromptu meeting with me so Craig could keep me in that damn meeting to miss the counseling meeting with you. He did that. He had to call the commissioner to protect himself and Bryant. Bryant? Oh, you mean that amateur grave robber I just let walk out of here, the one who almost killed my son? You have lost all perspective. 
Have I? Where are you getting your perspective, Barbara, these days? Out of a champagne glass! Oh. Barbara, I love you. I really do. I know you don't believe me. I know you think I try to control you, but... I really believe that you're your own woman, and I really respect that. I guess I am. I'm jealous of Craig. Hell, who am I kidding? It rips my guts out to think about you. But I would be doing a profound disservice to this community not to do everything in my power to stop this man who is a danger to the people in this community, but more than that, much more than that. A real danger to you. I may be a lousy husband, not a lousy cop. Olive Garden Super Toscana is warmth the Italian way. Hot, homemade, and full of fresh everything. And they're so generous, too. They give you all you want with their unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks lunch for just $5.95. Olive Garden, when you're here, you're family. I need to feel strong. I need her. Because we all need something different to feel our best. One a day has created different formulas. One especially for women. One for men. One for people over 50. One a day. We've got just what you need. Rough, red, tight, dry, chapped, itchy, flaky. The seven symptoms of dry skin. Kiss and goodbye. With St. Ives Vitamin E and A Lotion. The only moisturizer that combines the antioxidant power of vitamins E and A with Swiss Botanicals, clinically proven to heal dry skin. Seven damaging symptoms. Bye-bye. One powerful solution. With St. Ives Vitamin E and A Lotion. You get one minute every morning. One minute when your goals are all within your reach. You push forward knowing nothing will hold you back. Introducing new Minute Maid Premium Low Acid Orange Juice. With less citric acid, you'll have the freedom to enjoy. New Minute Maid Premium Low Acid. It's the Minute Maid to squeeze the day. You can swing through, stop by, and join the fun. Baby! It's positively indecent. Because <laughs> the dinos are dropping in. Dinosaur, now available to own on video and Disney DVD. How much will you give me for these? Nah, I can't use these. Come on, you can give me something. No, I don't think so. Will you work with me here and make me an offer? Let me think. No. What will you do with all your old antacids? Now that there's new Pepsid Complete, it's the only one that starts to work in seconds and lasts seven times longer than Tums, all with a single tablet. <laughs> new Pepsid Complete. Just one, and heartburn's done. Look at me, look at me. Save you. Wholesome, playful teddy grams. Thanks, that was close. They're so cute, you could just eat them up. Teddy grams, also in chocolatey chips. CBS presents the true story of a woman who saved a thousand refugees from war-torn Europe. You're forgetting this one. Academy Award winner, Anne Bancroft. Do you think they won't shoot you because you're American? Five-time Emmy winner, Hal Holbrook. It's too dangerous. CSI's William Peterson. He's flying into a war zone. Academy Award winner, Martin Landau. My amazing daughter. And Tony winner, Natasha Richardson. You're safe. You're in America. Haven, CBS Sunday. Thank you, dear. Your father had to have forged my signature. I know. I gotta get documentation. I gotta get proof of that. Then if I can get it to Hal, and it actually it isn't such a bad deal, he says he will have all the charges dropped against you. Which is great, but until it happens, I'm officially a thief. What's that? Well, darling, you are not perfect, and you did it. There's no way to get around that. I admit that. Stealing the money from the club was wrong and stupid. But I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't conned. Ruby and Sky Gabriel friend probably swindle people every single day. And one way for me to, to make up for what I did is to stop them. Okay, dear, well, you do what you have to do, because you're going to do it anyway. Can I give you a word of advice? Stay out of cemeteries in the future. And beware of girls 
named after exotic gems. So grow up, in other words. Would you try, please? Hal is willing to make a swap. He's willing. You've got to have a clean record, one way or the other. Because, baby, you are not the criminal in the family. All right? That distinction belongs to your father. And I appreciate the deal you made with Hal, but... Just because I'm off the hook, I'm not gonna stop looking for Gabriel Frank, no matter where he is. Go on, fishing. Why don't you? You're gonna die from happiness anyway when you hear what I found. The social. Oh yes, and 50 million cash. What'd you get? Her pretty signature. On a payroll check, on a birthday card, her file effects. They all look a little different, which is perfect. I can't wait to start practicing. You got a lot of pictures? Oh, don't worry. I got most of the house, almost the whole layout. Still need that social security number. Once we got that, we're home free. It's our ticket to El Dorado. You know that she's got a bathrobe made out of cashmere? Can you imagine? Do you want it? It's yours. You get through with her, she's not gonna be needing it. Thing is, it's gonna take a while to find all her assets, account numbers, etc. Yeah, we're gonna be visiting the Queen a lot. She won't know it, but we're gonna be her best friends. Hey, thanks. You remember? Yeah. Gonna take these babies home, make a nice pot of coffee, and watch the news. Mm -hmm. You need a girlfriend. And you need a little... Oh, you're so tough. You're such a big bully. I'm one of the bad guys are afraid of you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why they're laying low. They're scared of mm -hmm. me. So you didn't see anything tonight? Yeah. But that doesn't mean they ain't out there. Good night. You two be careful. Cold. Chilly. Mm. Let me get a blanket. You share it with me? Sure. <clears throat> Who knew? Who knew? Guarding a horse would be so much fun. Thank you. It's quiet. Hey, we should get that radio from your room. We could, uh, we could dance. No. Stay warm? No, that's okay. So I got the Lily Snyder seal of approval. What do you think? Are you fishing for a compliment? No. Me? <laughs> no, it's just you're quieter than usual. What else did she say? That was it. Are you sure? I, I thought we had an agreement. What? I thought we were going to talk about Lily. Right. And I agree with that agreement. I do. What you and I have has nothing to do with her. But things change. And I, I, Lily, I wants this private powwow with you. I thought she'd tell you. Tell me what? I want it out in the open. I do. But if she's not telling you, then she has her reasons. Okay, fine. Rose, if you're not going to tell me, then don't tell me. Lily Dumb Simon! It's over. It's finished. Hon, I'm ordering in. No, I'm not really in the mood. All right, then. We'll go out. I've got a better idea. I'm turning on the oven. Introducing Stouffer's new oven sensations. Complete meals including meat. Just pour into a pan and bake. All the great taste of an oven roasted meal without all the fuss. Go ahead, turn your oven on. So good. Stouffer's new oven sensations. Nothing comes closer to home. It's been a while. My hair feels healthier than before I colored. Casting Color Spa by L'Oreal. It's the gentle, no ammonia color. With essential oils. Healthy color, no grays. Casting Color Spa by L'Oreal Paris. Healthy color I can feel, and I'm worth it. Sometimes life's not fair. But you can make it equal with great taste and zero calories. We're contacts. 
Visine for Contacts does more than re-wet your lenses. It really, really refreshes your eyes. Visine for Contacts gets the dry out when contacts are in. In this life, there's just no stopping. No break for a hacking cough. You're all sore throat, fever, but there is Theraflu. Fast, soothing hot liquid therapy. Maximum strength Theraflu. Instant comfort, powerful relief. It's been another crazy day when have it any other way. But dinner's not quite done till we add a little fun. Boom, breadsticks! Pillsbury bakes them up hot and fresh with Parmesan or garlic. Ten breadsticks all ready for spaghetti. Now dinner comes alive. Dip in, swirl in, give them a high five. Healthy smile, healthy teeth, healthy life. Helping you have healthy teeth for life is what Oral-B does best. Now with the cross-action toothbrush, special crisscross bristles lift and sweep away more harmful plaque than today's leading brushes. So your teeth aren't just clean, they're healthy. For the long run, cross-action from Oral-B. Helping you have healthy teeth for life. Last week, Survivor and CSI swept the nation and beat the competition. Tonight, the castaways face temptation oh. on television's number one show. Then, it's the episode of CSI that will blow you away. Drop it! It's active! Don't miss all new episodes of TV's breakout hits, Survivor and CSI, CBS Tonight. Not only are you making Craig's life hell, but you're making our life hell, too. Don't you see that? Well, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. That's exactly what I intend to do. That's not what I meant. I mean it about this divorce, Hal. I mean you have to stay away from I Craig. I don't Barbara. have to do anything. Stop trying to control me. I am trying to protect you. I am sorry. Well, you can't I am see sorry, that. too, but it's over. Stop trying to drag it out. Montgomery is going to hurt you. Well, you are hurting me more right now, so I think it's time for you to move out. There's no easy way to say it. I think we've gone just about as far as we can go. This could have worked if everyone had just left us alone. The INS. Damn them! And damn that was into Walsh for setting them loose on us. Simon, come on, stop it. Simon, get out of the car. Come inside and I'll make you some food and some coffee. We'll go out later. We come are. On. We are not going anywhere. You got that? Simon, you don't know what you're doing. You can't drive like this. You're totally drunk. Who are you to give me advice? You are not my mother. You are not my anything. So Simon, just get away from me. You don't me. know what you're talking about. Just give I me said, speech. get away from me. <laughs> So Mr. McTrain, the conductor, and Mrs. McTrain, his wife, and all the little McTrains laughed and sang. They roasted marshmallows over the coals, drank lots of hot chocolate, and, and were, were happy, happy just, just to, to be, be together. together. The yeah. end. Mommy, if our family lived on a train, would we still be together? You know, there are lots of ways for families to be together. They always don't have to live in the same place. They always live in each other's hearts. I guess Katie being pregnant was the last straw. That's when Lily realized it would never work. So Katie really is pregnant. I, I, I thought she was faking too, but I guess the doctor said it is true. She's pregnant. I can't believe she's going to have a baby. She's just a kid herself. Ugh. What about Simon? What's he going to do about it? Who cares? How about the moon? Deport himself? Who cares? It's about Lily and what she's going to do. Well, what did she say? She's talking weird. She's talking about being alone and finding herself. I thought she was going to run right back to you. What? Nothing. Forget it. You know what? Let's go back to the original agreement and not talk about it. I've said too much already, as usual. Come on. Uh, I'm glad you told me. I mean, I wish Lily had told me herself about Simon, but... Oh, it's been so many nights agonizing over what she's doing or not doing. From now on, 
she does doesn't change what I do. Those days are gone. In this highly technological world, it's nice to know there's still one thing moms can trust to work exactly the way they expect it to. Time after time. <laughs> Doctor recommended Robitussin for fast, soothing relief for coughs. Wouldn't it be great if everything worked as well? Robitussin, recommended by doctors, pharmacists, and Dr. Mom. And for coughs with colds, look for reformulated Robitussin CF. Sunday, my folks come by a special time, so that's why I'm baking up these crescents that are hard off of me. My heart to yours. This Thursday through Saturday, when you use your Sears card, you'll get 10% off almost everything in the store, even sale prices. Use the card, save 10%. Three days only. So hurry into Sears. When Annie came home from school with headlights, we were horrified. Then I found new Rid Moose. Only Rid Moose has a no-drip foam that kills lights completely and leaves no chemical residue. Lights are gone. Everyone's <laughs> happy. New Rid Moose. Nothing is more effective. Do you know why I eat yogurt? <laughs> it's got this good bacteria that helps my digestion. Well, Alpo does the same for you. It makes a nutrition factory right in your tummy. A great dog deserves a long life. A great dog deserves Alpo from Friskies. On February 16th, spend recess with your kids. We are technically considered pre-young adults. It's a family adventure so big. Curse these bodacious hips of mine. Only a theater can hold it. Mom! That bonk on the head must have rattled your little brain. You're feverish. I'll go get the baby thermometer and the petroleum jelly. Ew, as if. Hold the rope, boy. Could you please get off of me? Disney's recess. School's out. Ready, G. Did you run into the sliding glass door again? Yeah. Come back. Your mom's gonna want to take your temperature. In theaters February 16th. Hillshire Farm is touring the country for new ways to cook America's favorite sausage. Up in Wisconsin, mouth-watering brats and German kebabs. On the bayou, our smoked sausage makes the jambalaya king. Out west, the Perez family wrapped up Hillshire Farm Little Smokies. Hungry for more easy recipes? Hillshirefarm.com. Bring the flavor home. Saturday, when mobsters make a club owner an offer he can't refuse. I don't want to sign this contract. Sign it, Chuck Norris. You don't have to do this. Kicks into action an all-new Walker. Then, Jack Mannion's dedicated to putting criminals away. She committed a homicide. I'm going after her. CBS Saturday, there's one he wants to save. But why would an innocent boy break the law? Put me in jail. You don't want to be jailed. Yes, I do. I want to be with my mom. Don't miss a powerful all-new episode of The District, CBS Saturday. From Brooklyn. Can you tell me about this job? It's top secret, Pop. To war-torn Europe. She understands these people. Does she understand the risk, Harry? From the depths of despair. I want to save the ones we can. To the promise of a better life. Once Americans know who you are, they'll open the door. You're an American.